You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us all acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for God's pardon and peace. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done, in what I've failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us offer this Mass for the souls of Nelson, Liz, and Annette Costa, Ace, Epifania, and Yofimio Villanueva, Lawrence Consigo, Brayon Winchell, Roger Traina, Gwendolyn Pauli, Diolinda and David Freitas, Father Nomer Luzano de Lomen, in thanksgiving for prayers answered, intentions of the Segura family and Miller Go, and for the gift of life of Jelen San Gabriel Seriaco. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship what then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. I have become all things to all, to save at least some, and this I do, for th I do so for the sake of the gospel, so that I too may have a share in it. Do you know that the runners in the stadium all race in the race, all run in the race, but only one wins the prize? Run so as to win. Every athlete exercises discipline in every way. They do it to win a perishable crown but we an imperishable one. Thus, I do not run aimlessly. I do not fight as if I were shadow boxing. 
No, I drive my body and train it for fear that, after having preached to others, I myself should be disqualified. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, <clears throat> How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How dwelling is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord God Almighty. Even the sparrows find a home and the swallows a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the man whose strength you are, their hearts are set upon the pilgrimage. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. For a sun and a shield is the Lord God, grace and glory he bestows. The Lord withholds no good thing from those who walk in sincerity. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, alleluia. If we love one another, God remains in us, and this love is brought to perfection in us. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, To you here I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them. And land expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great. And you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, 
and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus exhorts us to listen. Listen. To love our enemies. To do good to those who hate us. To bless those who curse. To pray for those who abuse us. So, you know, this is extra. Means this is beyond. This is more than a mile. And this is doing more than what is required of us, called as Christians, as Jesus tells us in this gospel. And this is what makes us Christians different from others. So Jesus is advising us to change, to change this mindset of reactive love. To bring our understanding of love to a much higher level. Higher level. That kind of love. Perhaps if we can, to the level of God's love for us. Do you know the level of God's love for us? Oh, that's so amazing. Can we do that? The same level of God as we love others? But are we capable of raising to a higher level our understanding of love and on how we give love? Or is it easy for us to show revenge? And that is difficult, my dear brothers and sisters. Because revenge is the action generated by a deep anger. And that deep anger is what we call resentment. When you have that resentment, you know that is your deep anger within you. That's why you have that kind of feeling, that resentment. You know, it is like a trap rattlesnake. Then when angry, it is said that it will bite itself. And that is exactly what we do to ourselves. When we let anger, when we let bitterness get the better of us, we end up biting ourselves, not our enemy. Meaning to say, we end up inflicting pain on ourselves. It is us who experience first that pain and not our enemy. The truth is that we are harming more ourselves than we are harming our enemies. And when we became to consume with resentment, Naturally, what happened? We have that sleepless nights because of that anger, that resentment. Thus, we feel sick the next, the next day. We experience, and we experience hypertension, too much stress, and heart palpitation, and any kind of anxiety, worry, strain, pressure. And that we get when we are angry. And when we have that deep anger, and that is what we call the resentment. That is why, my dear sisters and brothers, nowadays, medical experts like the doctors tell us that many of their patients 
are victims of their own anger, victims of their own resentment. They are sick because they are being eaten slowly by their own bitterness, anger, and hatred. And the best medicine is taught by Jesus today. And what is that med the best medicine? As what Jesus said in today's gospel, love your enemies. Because love frees. We are freed. We are free like a bird in the sky when we love our enemies. Not only our enemies, but of course ourselves. We become free from the prison we have made for ourselves. The prison of anger. <clears throat> the prison of hatred. And when we forgive our enemies, we let the prisoners go free. And who is that prisoners? Ourselves. So the gospel tells us to examine how much we love or how we love for that matter. We are called to love God. And love for God is manifested by the way we love our neighbors. How? Jesus tells us in today's gospel to do good. Do good. This means that we must not be selective in doing good. We must not be choosy. Oh, this is what I like only. Not that one. Not to be choosy. Not to be selective in doing good. Not to be choosy whom we have to help. Whom we have to pray for. Or whom we have to take care of. No matter what a person does to us, no matter if the person hurts or insults us, we must continue to accept. We must continue to understand. We must continue to forgive that person. So our love must assume a Christian character. Not in feeling good, but in doing good to others. Not by feeling, but doing good to others, no matter what. Like what Jesus preaches and does, our love must be compassionate. Our love must be unconditional. Our love must be limitless. Our love must be healing and forgiving. So that's why Jesus tells us in this gospel, For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. So my dear brothers and sisters, reflect it to yourselves. How do you love? So let us try our best to follow what the Lord is telling us in today's gospel. Stop judging so that you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not condemn. Forgive and you will be forgiven. So that's why, my dear sisters and brothers, in this Eucharist, we ask Jesus in humility. We ask the Lord to give us forgiving hearts. For we ourselves have been forgiven much by our Lord. In humility, we also ask the Lord to remove, remove our judgmental attitude, our condemning hearts, and give us understanding and compassionate hearts. So ask yourselves, my dear sisters and brothers, if you are holding on some anger, hatred, bitterness in your heart, and ask, don't you want to be free? Because only love can set that free and nothing more. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created a human race, so also through Him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you. And all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels. As in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O in the highest. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. O in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of your holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, the spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron Cara, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
especially Nelson Liz, Nelson Liz, and Annette Costa, Ace Epifania, and Euphemio Villanueva, Lawrence Andrew Consigo, Brion Winchell, Roger, Roger Trainer, Gwendolyn Pauli, Diolinda and David Freitas, Father Nomer Luzano de Lumen, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Bernard, St. Magdalene of Canossa, and St. Joseph in Baquita, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit of years to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord. I'm not worthy to that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ.
like the deer that yearns for running streams. So my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, to the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, be the power of God, trust into hell, Satan, and all the evil spirits of prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, Immaculate heart of Mary, Saint Joseph, Saint Bernard, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a blessed day to all of you. Keep saying. Lift your hearts, this is